Ladies and gentlemen, Ian Harris. Like, if I hear accidental pregnancy, I'm expecting a story. How did this accidental pregnancy occur? Well, I was masturbating on the sidewalk. Um, <laughs> like I do every Sunday. I was at the bookstore the other day. They have a book in there called Christianity for Dummies. And I was like, huh, oh, the irony. Uh, like, all my information comes from the Bible. I don't, computer, nah, this, all I need is the old Bible. Then when it comes to downloading a terabyte of kitty porn, suddenly they become Bill Gates, Edward Snowden, and Jared from Subway all rolled up into one computer genius super pedophile, right? Last week they didn't know what Wikipedia was. This week they're hacking into the Nambla mainframe to find circa 1980s naked Gary Coleman pictures that the authorities will later find on a desktop folder aptly titled Different Strokes. Now, I don't know about your religious beliefs, but when it comes to $12,000 dog surgery, I am a devout Christian scientist. <laughs> yes. Maybe you'd be walking a lot better if you had a little bit more faith. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> How you doing? Welcome to Bigfootopia. My name is Geraldine Tucker. No, not Geraldine. That's a woman's name, of course. My name is Gerald Dean Tucker. I'm named after my mama, Geraldine Tucker. Now, uh... <laughs> you got your nasal decongestant products in my bathtub full of gasoline. <laughs> and they had these two girls on there that were stuck together at the head. One is like, is like, like full size. The other one is half size, right? And they keep her on a tray attached to a chair and she is a country singer. And I'm thinking to myself, how bad would that suck to be attached to a country singer? And they have like a Bigfoot hotel and a, and a Bigfoot museum. How the fuck can you have a museum if you don't have anything to put in the museum? It's like, dude, you hear about Bob? He died, man, he was surfing. 50-foot Mavericks, dude, he bailed, he never came up. But he died doing what he loves. And I'm always like, drowning? He loved drowning? What a stupid thing to love. I'm just saying, how much you wanna bet that's the day he lost the love for that sport? That's what I wanna think. I would be willing to bet that's the exact fucking moment he lost the love for that sport. Then I thought, okay, what about my greediest friends? What if I asked all my just greedy, just, just money grubbing, just non-conscious, like my Republican friends, if I asked them, like, oh, 